video today, we're going to be creating a very basic, simple ATM program and C++. Now for the record, I know there's, there's another video out there on YouTube, well there's actually might, there might be a few videos out there on YouTube showing you guys how to create a, a basic ATM program in C++. Now for the record, I'm not, I'm not copying other content ideas. In fact, if you go to my website, cppbetterexplain.com, I actually wrote an article about, how, about, about creating a simple ATM program. I think it was back in 2015 or 2016. Uh, when, I, when, I first, when I first launched my website for a, a few years ago. But I wasn't doing YouTube back then, so because I was, I was too camera shy back then. So, in fact, I think, they, I, I think these guys are copying me uh, before um, I created this video for you guys today in 2022. So, let's, I'm going to go into, into a breakdown of how, of how we're going to of how we're going to create this ATM program and then I'm going to show you guys the code uh, line by line in Visual Studio on and and how it's implemented in C++. So let's get into the breakdown. All right. So in the simple ATM program that we that we're implementing in C++, the program is going to be doing the following things. What it's going to be doing is that it's going to be allowing the user to enter in the account balance. It's going to allow the user to enter in the money they want to deposit, and then it's going to calculate the final balance. It's going to calculate the interest. Of, of, the, of the balance and then it's and then what the program is also is going to do it's, it's going to be able to display the number of $50 notes available to, to be taken out of the balance and then it's going to generate a random value for the variable for the amount to deposit uh, that's going to be shown later and then finally it's going to display all the values on, that have been calculated at, at, at the very end on, on the screen. Now if you look at line number 14, 15 and 16 you'll see that we have three con const variables declared. And the reason why we have three const variables for the bank notes, the interest, the minimum deposit, and the maximum deposit is because since we are using the const keyword in the, in the declarations, is to prevent modifications to the data. So in, in simple words, those const variables are gonna remain the, the same the entire time. So when the program is running, those three const variables are going to be, remain the same and they will never ever be changed because they've been declared as constants. I've got, an, I've got another video out on, on, on the channel explaining what constants are and in this, in this, exa in this example ATM program that, that we're writing today that I'm showing you guys today, this is a great example of applying constants in lines 14 to 16. So if we start looking at in, into the source code here, what you'll see is that we've got uh, the function prototypes here, getting the bank nodes, and then int get random. First of all, let's look at the ma the main function here. So in the main function here, what we're doing is that we're uh, it's outputting, entering the account balance, and then it's getting the user to enter in the account balance using the C in keyword. And then it's going getting the user to ask. It's asking the user to enter in the amount to deposit. And then it's also using the CIN keyword to get the user to input uh, the, the value of, of what they want to deposit. And then it's calculating the final balance uh, with this mathematical equation here on line number 37. And then it's also as well as it's calculating the interest here on line 40. So it's getting the total balance here. So the total balance that we got, we got on, on line that we computed on, on line 37. So it's getting the total balance here, and then it's using that constant variable that we declared at the top. See over here, interest. It's using this this number here to calculate the interest and get the final the final interest. And then it's displaying the original bank balance, the amount to withdraw, the number of bank notes, and the final balance and interest after one year uh, of that bank balance. Uh, which is being dis which is, all the information is being displayed here at the very end, and then in part two of the program here, it's what what's happening here is that we're getting a we're getting a random variable here, and then it's computing all those same val all those same values here, from line sixty one to, to line sixty six. So we'll we'll, ha we'll have a look at that get random um, ex uh, implementation just just a bit later. 
So, so in line 61 to line 66, it's doing the same thing as we did in the original, in the, in the original example. So now we're looking at this function here. So we're looking at uh, this, this function here, get banknotes. So what it's doing here is that it's, it's, it's calculating how many banknotes can we get with that deposit. So it's, so it's returning the amount that, that has been, the, the amount that, that, was, that, was, that has been calculated, and then it's dividing it by, the, by, by this variable here, this constant variable here called banknote, which was set to 50. So that will calculate how many banknotes, how many, how many banknotes we can get after, after we have calculated the total, the total, the, the total amount. And then inside this variable here, get random, what it's doing is, 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 that, it's, is that it's calculating a random, a random value between the value of max deposits and min deposits. So that's so that allows us to calculate a random value, and that allows us to use this 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 value here around to amount to deposits in line number sixty three uh, as as an example. So as you can see in line fifty six, fifty seven, and sixty three, it it calculates a random value to. to to be uh, to calculate the, uh, the 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 final balance and the interest. Let's run through the program and see what happens. So if I run through the program for you now, this this will this will show you the the final outcomes. Just building right now. So let's say the account balance is let's say the account balance is five thousand dollars, and we want to um, we want to deposit five hundred dollars. So what it's going to do is that it's going to display the original balance, the amount to deposits, the number of fifty dollar notes that that we can that we can out that we can take out, and then we've got the final balance, and then the calculated interest after one year, and then in account information number two, we've got the original balance, and then we've got the random value that has been generated. I probably should have cleaned this up to make it more readable, but that's okay. You, you guys can can probably clean it up clean it up yourselves once you get the example code. So yep. So then you've got the amount to deposit as well, and then also the the amount of fifty dollar notes we're able to get from this balance, and then we're computing the final the we're computing the final balance, and then it's computing the interest after one year. So there you have it, guys. That is a very basic C plus uh, plus ATM program which has been created in C plus uh, plus, broken down for you uh, line by line. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this this breakdown of creating a basic ATM program in C++ smash that that like button down below and don't forget to click on the red subscribe button down below to get the latest uh, videos from C++ better explained